Well, thank you. We're now joined by the amazing Ryan Anthony and Peter Meachin, uh, who yeah. we're getting ready to hear two of Pete's pieces, and actually three, uh, yeah. following intermission here after we've just heard uh, this amazing piece of Viet Cong. So I can't tell you what an enormous thrill it is to have both of you here. Ryan and I have had the chance to work together, as all three of us have, because yeah. we recorded... We made a recording of Renaissance of Wonder. Yeah, last, last June. summer. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Which is just now uh, getting ready to come out. Hopefully yeah. in the near future. But it's so great to have both of you here, man. So, yeah, thanks. Especially, uh, I know we're gonna. Uh, the audience will hear some details, but uh, all all weeks are interesting for you these days, and so it's uh, this one was maybe more so. Yeah, not. <laughs> um, yeah, more interesting than I would want it to have been. <laughs> so, <laughs> right, of course. Um, yeah, it was just uh, about a week ago. I had to go to the emergency uh, room middle of the night with a uh, uh, high fever turned out to be an infection and um, quite serious and was admitted into the hospital and so um, yeah as of a few days ago I mean this, right. this, this wasn't, wasn't an option so exactly. we literally um, just yesterday we looked at the numbers and got the green light saying okay and I had some treatments and then got in the car and drove on down so yep. we'll do these for two days and I got to head on, then you know, back. Head, head on back. But, back uh, to your routine. Yeah. So, um, yeah, but it was, uh, I mean, we didn't really know what was going on until just literally a few days ago. Right. And then, you know, it's, yeah, we were all, of course, worried, worried any time. But then the fact that clearly you rallied, and I, I'll say this, we just, we're recording this right after our rehearsal on Saturday. Yeah. And you sounded yeah. like a million bucks. Well, so it's just... <laughs> so, to my surprise, it actually felt good today. It was fun. Um, yeah. But well, so hopefully what you're about to hear is the, <laughs> is the same. I can, I can do it two days in a row. I'm sure yeah, it's it, going to it, be there, even There's better. been a lot, um, <laughs> most days have been off the horn, unfortunately, due to treatments and, and things going on there, but... Um, if there's anything I think I've learned, and when I was even questioning whether uh, I come down or not, just because of, I just didn't feel in shape and, and prepared, and, and didn't want to let you or in any of the the students or audience down, but the more I'm learning, it's um, it, it's the story is about serving the music, and, right. and really regardless of how I feel or the technical plane, if I can focus on especially when doing some of Pete's music, which is so um, serious and emotional. And um, if I can focus on that, then no matter what, that gets to the audience. And I think that's Absolutely. good for the students to be able to see, too. You know, we spend so much time working on our craft that we forget why we do that. Right, and the why so, of it. Yeah. Um, it was just the other day, I thought, you know, if I'm given the green light to come down here, regardless of how I feel physically, there's there's music to be play that you've written that that needs to be heard there there's a, a purpose to it and um i guess that's sort of been the whole last six years right the way i've had to think about things and so. you know you let's talk about you guys go back at, at time you know for a while now because this is and what i know about is obviously song of hope and renaissance of wonder and now mm -hmm. soliloquies the piece that we're getting ready to premiere but still you've had a lot of contact over the years so how did, how did you guys you know when did you first bump into each other I think, I think you'd played up in Banff at the, the brass course that Jens ran for so many years up there. You'd played Epitaph for Hillsborough, another piece of mine. And yeah. and you reached out because I think you, um, a family member had just passed yeah. away, as I remember. And uh, and I was saying to the group yesterday that that was a real special moment. And I remember it so clearly because, you know, when you find someone who, who like music you think about music in the same way, you know? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And that's because there's so many ways to enjoy and experience and think about music. And when you find someone that, that's kind of got something very similar to yourself in, in, in terms of, yeah, in, <laughs> yeah. in terms of outlook and, and, uh, and it kind of went from there, right? Yeah. I mean, yeah, we played his music and mm -hmm. we were asking Jens, uh, you know, just like, man, who's, who's this beat me? I, I, I've got at least, reach out and say thanks you know because it just really uh moved me and, and then yeah that started the 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 friendship that's been going on since then and then it was uh the renaissance of wonder was actually commissioned for a cancer blows concert in 2016 and they got yeah. to cleveland and um you know had a chance to do it a, a few times and you had mentioned i think even after i was diagnosed you wanted to write write something and and um, and I know you're, you're writing and it was very emotional and at that time 
I didn't want to think about anything that was sure. um, too heavy. I had to think about, you know, just life, just getting through everything. And so when a couple of years ago you had mentioned, it was all right, now, now we're ready. And you basically, I mean, just asked for um, any, like, power words, phrases, uh, anything that I sort of thought and used, and, and I sent it to you, and then you, you just put you put music to to, right. to the words. Set wording. those words. Yeah, yeah. and um, it's in it's in five uh, pieces and five movements, really straight um, played straight through, and it's it's an incredible piece. And I think all music, um, great music. Uh, every time you play it through the years, it changes. I'm sure every time when you 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 sure. conduct it, you, you have different things to say and and. Certainly, um, with uh, the music that Pete does, you, you've got uh, I have things to say that are every time you know that are, that are different. And certainly this week, after going through um, when we had the uh, the infection, when they they said uh, if I had gone in when we did, and you know we had 24 hours, and that was probably going to be about it. You know? Right. And so that's that's scary to hear. That's attention getting. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know. So then to um, be able to play such incredible music that. Um, you're about to hear is uh, certainly um, you know it, it touches yourself as a performer and you hope it comes across to the audience right. strong and the following Renaissance Wonder is Soliloquies which this will be the premier performance yeah, yeah. that Ryan and Yins will play together which is great you know yeah. I mean the, the, you guys have been you know brothers for uh, since yeah, your Canadian back, brass yeah, days for, or maybe almost before 20, I almost know. 20 years now yeah right. so scary <laughs> Yeah. That that piece I actually finished. I'm not sure if I've told you this. I finished it in Banff. Yeah. In McLeod, you sent some pictures. Yeah. Just right. overlooking the mountains there, because it occurred to me where you that first that was met. Yeah. The first yeah. time you, yourself, yeah, Jens, and I were, were were all together, and and uh, yeah, it felt like a real nice moment. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Well, well, it can, it's, a, it's a beautiful piece. It is. It's gorgeous, and I I can't wait for the audience to hear it. And then, just to not let the cat out of the bag, but one of the encores that we're going to do is the Song of Hope, right. which is started with a different life. Yeah. And then you ask Pete to turn it into what it, the way yeah. it's become so popular now. Yeah, we did. Uh, this was before the first Cancer Blows event um, in 2015. Yeah. Was that mm -hmm. the first? And um, you were just sending me, you were just sending me random things that you'd. You've written for trumpet and and yeah, band I think or I think you told me that that like I write a lot of somber music. Don't I write yeah. nothing happy? And I was like, well, <laughs> okay, well, have, yeah, a, have a listen to a couple of these then. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. And, and it was one of those moments where I remember you sent it to me, and literally, I I, I mean, it was, I just everything stopped, and I just listened to it over and over, and I just mm -hmm. it just hit me really hard. So I'd ask, can you make this into a its its own piece? It was a middle movement of a mm -hmm. concerto. Yeah. And um, uh, I wanted to get more people playing, so you made it into a trio. And um, of course, uh, uh, we've done it as a trio, a, a duet, as a solo with orchestra, with band, with brass ensemble. I mean, you, you've made it so uh, um, it can be played in so many different areas. And, and I think I probably get at least once a week somebody who emails yeah. me sure. with a performance somewhere, not only in the US, but across. I mean, it's just really taken off. It's an right. incredible. Incredible piece, right? And it's, um, I think it means something for every different for yeah. everybody who hears it. But I mean, that's it's, um, um, yeah, it's sort of become, I think, for me, it, that's that's the signature, um, right? Tune, uh, and that uh, everybody now associates with 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 the foundation and cancer blows and just in general, right? And all the more reason with both of you here that I thought, okay, well, that's. We yeah, gotta do it. Brand, we gotta I mean, do it. We, yeah, you know, with, uh, yeah, with the ends, who's yeah, it's, it'll it'll be perfect. Right. Uh, it's... Well, th I can't thank you guys enough for being here, and fortunate that you're here, that we were yeah. able to make it all work out. So, and Pete, it's great to have you here. And unbelievably, this is Ryan's virgin voyage to Austin, too. So. I've never been to Austin. This is it. This yeah, is the first time. There's going to be many more times okay, as we that's, yes, <laughs> inspired. Yes. Yeah, absolutely. Well, well, thank you guys so much. Looking forward to it. Great. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.